Hello, Richard. Hello there. Hello. Is this Robert? Yes, speaking. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for getting... Uh, thanks. Thanks for being there. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, no problem, man. Um, yeah. So, so you, so you saw the uh, you saw the website. Yes, I I've been on the website. Um, I've looked at it in the past. Um, I've also looked at the International Christian Church. I'm a bit sceptical about Kip McKean, who I believe used yeah. to run your church. But either he got kicked out or he left or resigned or whatever. I don't really know. You can probably know more than I will about that. Sure. What, where, where are you from, um, Robert? Oh, I'm, I'm from Devon. Devon, OK. Um, very nice place in the world. <laughs> Not Plymouth. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Kip McKean, yeah, he's... Uh, um, yeah, he, uh, he, he, he used to lead the International Churches of Christ many years ago um i think he's he's doing something else now um well, he, he he's he's leading oh all oh, right sorry i sorry interrupted you sorry no that's all right um so yeah see so um so you live in devon but you're checking out a belfast church webpage well, it's for the whole whole of all of the denomination, all of the, the Belfast is just one of the names listed on the um, website, and there is there is nothing near to me. There's 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 nothing in my part of the woods in my area. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, would you call yourself a Christian? Um, yes, but I I gave up attending church in two thousand and ten. I don't wish to right. go into all the details, but there were so many scandals; it was just ridiculous. Right. What kind of church did you uh, go to? Um, I went to a Baptist and a Pentecostal church. Um, I only wow. lasted for six months. I I, tr I tried out a couple. I actually left church in two thousand in nineteen ninety one. Um, I went to a Baptist church, the Nostal Baptist Church in Cornwall, and I was told by my home group leaders that quote the Trinity was pagan. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I complained to the pastor. I complained to the general superintendent of the Baptist Union. It was all just swept under the carpet. I came to the conclusion these people are really idiots. They didn't know what they right. were talking about. I tried again in 2000 when I moved to Plymouth. And um, the, the situation is appalling. It, it, Christianity is a complete joke. Do you mean what, churches or Christianity in general? Well, I'm referring to the church organisations. I'm not referring to the Bible or to right. Christ. I have respect for Christ sure. and the Bible, but I don't believe that what you see in the Bible is, is anything to do with what you see in, uh, on Christian TV or in the local, the local churches. I think most of it's been corrupted by, by money. I think by paying people money, um, I think that's how a lot of it's been corrupted. I think if everyone worked unpaid, they could follow their conscience. And if someone in authority says, you will teach this, which is b wrong or blasphemous, if a person's paid no money, he can say, well, sod off, mate. I'm going to do what the Bible says. But if you pay someone a salary, I think you can manipulate people in that way. I think that's one of the one of the problems. Um, right. But I, I'm looking again, but uh, I'm certainly not attending any fellowship. Sure. Um, did you... Uh, I mean, it's great to look into other churches. Um, but churches, like you say, at the end of the day... They are just made up of human beings who sin, and um, there's certainly no no perfect church, uh, no perfect leader. Um, it's really, you know, we're all answerable to God and how no, we no no how we no live no, our lives. no no people people are not answerable and they're not accountable. They do exactly what they like. They can teach sure. anything in their church. They can disagree completely with their doctrinal statement of faith. And if you sit on a pew, if you're just an ordinary person like me, you can't challenge people in leadership. That, that's part of the problem. Nobody is accountable. No one can be challenged. When I read the New Testament, I see Jesus and the apostles not preaching in monologue to people. Uh, the Sermon on the Mount is highly edited. It's redacted. But very often what you're seeing is a dialogue. Yeah. Jesus had discussions with people. He didn't preach in monologue. And what unfortunately happens today is you have a building, you have a pastor's office in the building. Once a week on Sunday, somebody talks 
he can't be questioned, he can't be challenged, and then he runs and hides in the pastor's office. Right. <laughs> right? And, and, and he has people called elders. Now, these are usually cowardly, neutered men. You know, they, yeah. they, they've been uh, neutered. And their job is to stop any question or dialogue. Because so do you think do you think every church is like that? Most of them are, I think, yeah. Right. Yeah. So why why look into churches then? Why? Well, I'm I'm very interested in the Bible, and I want I pray every day, and I I believe in Jesus. Um, I just don't believe in men. <laughs> um, sorry, but you know I I just don't have any real faith in it, um, and I don't think the Bible sure. tells me to put faith in a pastor. Uh, you know, I don't think I should go on my knees before a pastor, you know, of course not. who speaks in tongues and has a private jet and flies around the world. And I need to pay 10 percent of my money and go fall on my knees before some pastor and uh, it, it, it essentially practice idolatry. Where what Jesus says is not important is what the pastor says, because the pastor can trump anything Jesus says. And your faith sure. is not in Jesus. It's in the pastor boy. I uh, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, can I ask you a question? Mm. Are you recording this? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah, you're the guy that uh, rings up people who work for ICC, record them, and then put them on YouTube. Um, no, I I I ring up Christadelphians. I ring up ICC and the um, Church of Christ, the International Church of Christ. Jehovah's Witnesses, I've just made another recording before you. I've got 918 <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses. I've got the Mormons. I've got three Scientologists. I've got the Exclusive what's your, Brethren what's your twice. Goal? What, what, why are you doing all this? Well, I'm very interested in it, but I'm fascinated by the fact that religious people cannot defend their beliefs. Right. You know, they, they will tell you that they're right and their, their church is right. Um, but so, Jehovah's Witnesses, I've gone to town with them. I, I've, I've got 918 recordings of Jehovah's Witnesses. Wow. <laughs> do you have anything else to do with your time? 918 recordings? Yeah, it's taken me many years. It's taken me many years. Why, though? What, 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 what are you trying to get out of it, though? Well, aren't I obeying Christ? Go ye out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Matthew twenty eight sure. twenty. I, I'm, preaching I'm preaching the gospel. I'm preaching the gospel. You're doing it, is it? You're yes, ringing sir. up Trevor witnesses, and then recording them, putting them on YouTube, and and trying to, I don't know, trip them up or well, trying it's, to. It's very easy to not, do. It's very easy to do. Sure, <laughs> um, but that's not going out and preaching the word. Yes, it is. What are you talking about, man? The conversation I just had was on the Holy Spirit. That was with um, a guy from Shaftesbury Kingdom Hall. And he said the Holy Spirit was not God. The Holy Spirit was an impersonal it, a force like electricity. And, what, and do you tell each person you're ringing up that you're recording them? No, because obviously if I were to do that, most of them would just hang up immediately. Because you see, religious people don't want to be challenged. This is why religion has become so corrupt. Real Christianity is a dialogue. It's a conversation. It's a two-way discussion. It's not somebody standing up in a pulpit and talking without interruption for 45 minutes and then running away and hiding in the pastor's office. Now, the, the, work with Jehovah, the, the work I do with Jehovah's Witnesses um, focuses on the gospel. I, 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 I focus on the deity of Christ. I've had about 100 recordings on Christ's resurrection that he bodily, literally, physically rose from the grave. Um, Jehovah's Witnesses say he rose, as you probably know, as a spirit creature. So this is the heart and soul of the gospel. People, people have a mistaken view of the gospel. They think it's smiling at people and singing a clappy song. Ooh, I want to smile at you and then sing a clappy song at you. That's not the gospel. The gospel is telling people about Christ. Now, so you're, 15 minutes be be before this I'm conversation. Gonna to, I'm going to have to go sing because right. it's hard to get a word in. But, right, uh, sorry. Um, so your idea of sharing the gospel is, is ringing up people who get paid by a church, uh, recording them without them knowing, putting it on YouTube. And, um, you know, that it all sounds a bit underhand, uh, certainly not very Christ-like. 
and um, very, very shady. Um, yeah, I, I don't really want to be part of this. Thank you. Um, Jehovah's Witnesses don't get paid. It's only the circuit overseers and above who get paid. The most of the Jehovah's Witnesses I speak to are elders or ministerial servants, and they don't they don't get paid. Um, sure, um, I, don't, I don't really know. I any tend Jehovah's. to focus on groups like your group who believe that only they are the true Christians. So Mormons look on everyone else outside of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints as heretics or lost. Jehovah's well, Witnesses. I, I don't. I don't believe that though. And no, I don't know anyone in my church who believes that. Oh, come on, man. Be honest. The international churches of God have, have had a makeover, but you still believe that there are very few Christians outside of your little group. And you've even demonized, some of your preachers have demonized the other Kit McQueen uh, group. The International Christian Church demonizes your group and you demonize the International Christian Church. Both of your groups were founded by Kit McKean. And Kit McKean is notorious that he has stated <laughs> that people who are not in your little group are not Christians. So it's hard to argue with someone who is convinced that they know what I think when I completely disagree with it. Um, you're not really listening to me. I, I, don't, I don't believe the things you're accusing me of um, believing. So... I don't see how we can continue this conversation. Well, I was talking about the uh, formal teachings of the leaders of the International Christian Church and the well, International Church. I'm, I'm a leader of the Belfast Church. I don't believe that we're the only ones that are right. I don't know anyone in the Belfast Church or in any of the churches of Christ that I fellowship with that believe that. And I know you're holding on to this, but it's just not true. It's just not true. So you do not rebaptize people who join your church if a person is a baptist or a pentecostalist or a whatever you don't say you must be rebaptized for the remission of sins because you believe that they're already saved they were saved in the baptist church or the methodist church or the anglican church or the pentecostal church and you don't rebaptize people because you believe they're saved already is that correct well uh, obviously everyone's different i'd have to find out about their history and you know, did they become a Christian according to the Bible? Um, so I'm, I'm not going to say, no, I, I never do that, or yes, I always do that. Uh, everyone's different. But Robert, thank you for calling. I'm going to move on. All right, thank you. Um, and, and can I suggest that maybe when you ring up all these different people that you, uh, you let them know that you're recording them? I, I think that's only fair. No, no, because these are people who are in church leadership or in religious leadership. And the groups that I focus on, like your group, are groups that teach that truth is exclusive to their little sect or their their, their little group. That's why and, your group rebaptizes people. It doesn't matter if they say, sorry, we don't believe that. That, that won't change your mind. You, you rebaptize. Look, if a Baptist joins your group, you rebaptize you keep them for the remission of sins. telling me what I do and what I don't do and what I believe and what I don't believe. It doesn't really matter what I say. Um, that's a bit so, of a shame. so, but do you? I'm asking a question. Do you rebaptize Baptists for the remission of sins? I've, I've never, uh, I've never converted anyone from. So, I've never converted anyone who's used to go to a Baptist church, as far as I know. So, it's, it's hard for me to, you know. All, all I can do is point people to the Bible, say this is what the Bible says, and and the Bible according to. The Bible, according to your sect, teaches that if you're not baptized by your sect, then they're not saved. Again, I don't know where you're getting your information from, but that's not what I believe. That's, that, what, that's ridiculous. That's, that's the silly. official teaching of it's your nonsense. church. That's why you. Absolute that's, nonsense. That's Just why when Baptists. Rubbish. That's why and, when uh, Baptists and Pentecostals yeah. join your group, you rebaptize them in water because you teach them they must be baptized for the remission of sins and that their sins are washed away in baptism and the baptism performed by the baptists and the assemblies of god and the other sects because it's outside of your sect is not valid do you rebaptize people you've, you've been doing this since the 1980s i know you've had a name change and a sort of um a makeover but that is what your church and and when I say your church, I mean your denomination and the other Kit McKean group, the International Churches of Christ. That's what you're notorious for. You rebaptize people 
for the remission of sins because you believe that people who are not baptised by full immersion, by your leaders, right, are not saved. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of what you say is just... I find it hard to believe that anyone would believe what you're saying. Um, it's complete nonsense. And, um, yeah, to suggest that this is what I believe is just silly. Well, uh, that it's it's uh, Former members Robert, are saying this go, all over... I'm obviously not going to change your mind. Former you members are saying this about your sex. But former members are Take saying care, this mate. about Have your... Have a lovely group. evening. OK, thank, thank you, you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. That's...